In many ways, Sharina Johansson was a regular sixth grader. For generations, her family owned a bakery called the Mighty Apron. The secret to the Mighty Apron success was an actual Mighty Apron that Sharina's grandmother handed down to her. Whoever wore the apron could shoot their favorite foods out of their eyes. This obviously broke several health codes, so Sharina's family kept it a secret. Until one day, Sharina unleashed her powers, fending off a group of bad guys trying to rob the bakery. This only made the bakery more popular. Customers would line up for hours to taste one of Sharina's super croissants or hero muffins. Sharina became famous selling pastries by day and fighting crime by night and also getting her school. A man named Ronald opened up a restaurant right next door to the Mighty Apron. It was called Egg Stream Eggs and only sold egg dishes. But no one was interested in omelets or frittatas with superhero-made desserts next door. Sharina, being a sweet young girl, went over to Ronald to welcome him and offer him a free donut. But Ronald shouted that he hated gluten and squeezed a whole bottle of oil in her eyes. Ronald ripped the apron right off of Sharina and launched soft boiled eggs from his eyes, pushing her out of the store. I am exacting my revenge, Ronald Ward. The next day, Egg Street My Eggs was gone. Ronald escaped with the mighty apron. None of the Johansons knew how to bake at all. They always relied on the magic apron. Miss Johansson scolded Sharina for losing the magical family heirloom. And the robbers returned and stole everything from the bakery. Extreme Eggs opened up a dozen locations and was the most popular place in town. And the Muddy Apron Bakery was going out of business. Sharina thought and thought until she figured out how to crack this case. It was time to chomp on some eggs. This was the most delicious omelet she'd ever tasted. So creamy, flavorful, and perfect, she wondered whether she should give up and let Ronald have the apron. But she knew she had to save the family. She marched into the kitchen, stared directly into Ronald's quivering eggy eye, and demanded, Give me back my apron! It belongs to my family! Prepare to be shell-shocked, Sister Ronald sneered. Sharina wasn't sure what was more shocking, getting pumpled by eggs or that he called her sister. With pain and anger in his voice, Ronald revealed who he truly was. He explained, When I was 16, I found out I was allergic to gluten. Grandma kicked me out of the family, took back the mighty apron. My only skill is making eggs, he continued and they were even very good. Not until I got the mighty apron. Spitting with Irish he fumed. You stole my birthright. Now you'll get exactly what you deserve. Not so fast, we remarked as she reached for her bag. Ronald was frightened by the glutinous bread. You're toast, Ronald, Trina quipped, flinging slices of bread at Ronald. Ronald composed himself. He would not let some toast destroy his dream. He would make the biggest egg ever. The world crush anything in its way. Trina got away right before getting crushed by the colossal egg. Ronald cackled triumphantly until the egg cracked, yolk flooded everywhere. Sharina didn't know what to do. Ronald gasped as the yolk reached his head. Use your powers, you can do it. Without the mighty apron, Sharina felt powerless. 
mature membered wild can make eggs even without the apron. Sharina knew what to do. She deviled deep down in her belly. With all her might, she shot dozens of dozens of delicious sponge cake into the restaurant, sopping up all the yolk. She had saved Ronald's life. Ronald hugged his sister and exclaimed, It's not in the apron, it's in the family. Sharina hugged him back, proclaiming, You're in my family. Ronald offered Sharina the apron back, but she figured she'd be better off without it. Oh, the town was kept safe by Donut Girl and the Eggman. Do you need any?